What's good, everybody in Chicago? We are here at SGF. I'm rocking with one of my favorite people on the planet, James Willems. How are you doing, I'm sir? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I don't even know why I'm here. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm here. Why are we here on this planet? This spinning rock on the in well, the No, I know why you're here. <laughs> Because you have a fantastic outlook and great insight into this industry. Oh, uh, I, why do it? I mean, I would say exactly the same thing about you, my friend. I just lost in a Fatal Fury match to one of the devs. So, I, I mean, I mean, they're cheaters. That's the reason. I mean, they're cheaters. I, yeah. I understand what that means. Yeah, yeah. Talking about that, what, what do you think about it? What do you think about the S and K game? I thought it was great. I was just saying to them that, like, they have you gotten to try it? Yeah. The the different mechanics that you can add. I keep being excited when new fighting games come out so you can be like how can you change up the fact that one person's fighting another person yep and i like i immediately latched on that whole spg system mm -hmm. was super sick and you can choose if you want it to be like a uh catch-up mechanic or something you could use in the middle yep. so i i as soon as they like kind of explained it to me i was like oh this makes perfect sense and seems awesome in a fighting game system yeah, I mean they they're continuing to kind of broaden out not only the game systems for for what SNK games can be, mm -hmm. but also just like from a systems, but also like visually. Oh yeah, that game is stunning. Yes. Yeah. What did you think about the visuals? I thought it was great. Like it's the same thing. How do you make your game stand out? Mm -hmm. Street Fighter VI is such a beautiful game. I just love looking at it. So when it you know anytime there's a new one, I'm like, okay, well let's see, let's see. It's just incredible yeah. like the line work and stuff it's just it's beautiful and the movement it's great i love it yeah so an event like this i know you get a chance to kind of roam around and say what's up to folks and, and hang out a bit yeah, yeah what's the stuff that you kind of come to first when you go to an event like this is like go see as many games as possible go hang out with friends what's, what's the what's the usual i feel people? like i feel like uh because i have luckily uh, uh elise yeah. who is my better half <laughs> and she does the due diligence where she's responding to the emails to make the appointments and stuff and then putting things on a calendar so i just kind of drive here show up look at the calendar and see um so i don't have to worry too much about that but then the yeah like i think the first thing we did was kind of wander around and be like is there anything we don't have an appointment for that we could try and get an appointment for you yeah. know fury was one of those yeah. things phantom blade was another one of those mm. things these like surprise games that you weren't expecting but then the best part is on the on your way there you run into friends and groups of people that you don't see all the time. Mm -hmm. I mean, and also you being you, I'm sure you're stopped by millions of folks wherever think, you go. I think two people is stopped. <laughs> so <laughs> I would say if I saw one you, was you, what was you? That's true. <laughs> <laughs> but it's great. I think that's the beauty of events like these, right? Yeah. It's like, it's always like the cool family reunion where you yep. come and see folks and, sure. and hang out. It's Dre Keeley. It's Dre Keeley over there. Oh my God. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I mean, Ke Keely walking down the street is like, you know, it's like seeing the moon. No, it's wild. You You're like, oh, my God, the place? stars are so bright. You just come to a place, you hang out for three days, and sometimes you see a Keely. I mean, wild I, Keely. I, I mean, look, I mean, when you're at the Keely's, if you don't see a Keely, you don't you know, cross. It's a kilo of Keely. Yeah, absolutely. The man weighs a ton. What do you, what have you seen that you've loved? Oh, my God. Uh, I mean, first of all, the Xbox showcase today was fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. I had a chance to check out a lot of that stuff. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, Fatal Fury was fantastic as well. Yep, yep. Uh, we just talked about Desperate 66, which was super Oh, cool. that was really fun. That was a lot of fun. A game, you know, anybody who likes racers, anything like that, that's a, a super fantastic stuff. Yep. I, I mean, it's, it's the thing that I keep coming back to is, like, the industry is doing well in that way. Yeah, oh, yeah. Like, the idea funnel is going in a way that is really, really cool. Yeah. But it is that thing of, like, man, there's so many things dropping. I don't oh, know yeah. how, as a person who's doing any of this work that you can capture all of it but it's, it's tough too because i feel like there's really big stages like obviously the press conferences and these showcases get a lot of center stage but like you mentioned you mentioned death run yeah. that was the first thing i played when i got here and i'm yeah. like whoa this is i'm still like thinking about it and then another game i played in that same area was a loft yes which was yes. it's like a, it's called a survival game but i said i said they should call it a survival game Oh, damn. Because they were like, yeah, you can like do eat and drink and stuff like that, but those are just bonuses. Mm -hmm. And the rest of it is just kind of like existing and exploring this really cool blind world. So, I don't know. It's like you understand branding really, really well. Look at me. I'm just saying, this man is really good at what he does. Hire me. Hi, <laughs> and do all the things. Yeah. For sure. Last thing before we let you go, yeah. anything that you didn't get a chance to see that you're really excited to check out? Uh, actually, yes. Uh, the Day of the Devs crew brought oh. some really incredible games. One that stood out to me 
was uh, UFO 50. Oh, okay. Which was like, it's a compilation of retro games mm. from a bunch of different eras, but they all kind of work together in a similar storytelling way. Yeah. I'm not exactly sure, sure, but the pitch sounded awesome. I didn't get to play it, but I'm excited to play it. Yeah, so I know, you know, the channel that you were working on for yeah. so long, you know, again, reason I love Funhouse and all the work you did, sadly shut down very, uh, very shortly. Yeah. Uh, you know, recently, I'm sorry. What's the next step? What's the, what's the things you're kind of thinking about next for, for, for you and the team? Because I know you're, you're brilliant in the, in the squad. I appreciate that. No, I don't know. I honestly don't know what is next for me. Yeah. Um, uh, I am really grateful for the time that I, it was nine, over nine years that we got to do it. Yeah. And the way we got to close things out, I was really, really happy with. We got to create a platform for other people to go off and do things. So go support Astro Goblin. Yeah. And uh, go support everyone on our channels and at Ryan Plus, all these different individuals that are making their own strides in their own way. So please go support them. Yep. Um, but for me, I, I'm i not necessarily taking it easy. I feel like I've been really busy. Mm -hmm. I'm here doing this, but... Um, I've been writing more, and uh, we, Elise and I, wrote two video games for the studio Ilphonic. Oh, great. Right? That's so awesome. Arcade Again came out a couple years ago in the Ghostbuster Spirits Unleashed, and we have been working still with them, but I don't have anything solid to confirm or whatever. Sure. But, you know, that's just kind of, that's on the side stuff. The rest of it is, I think, just figuring out what we wanted to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've yeah. been doing something that long. You don't always. Know. It's always kind of nice too, because then you get a chance. I mean, it's always weird when things like that happen, but it's also kind of great to have that pivot moment, or whatever. Yeah. You get a chance to rethink about some other stuff that you had on the back burner that you yeah. might want to poke at and and play around with. Yeah. If there was a space that you were like, "Oh man, yeah, I didn't get a chance to do that, and I would really like to poke at it." Yeah. What would be one of those things that you kind of want to dig into? Uh, I mean, I love directing. I love writing and directing. We got some opportunities to do it at Rooster Teeth, which is really cool. Yeah. One of the projects that we had that was really close to my heart was Arizona Circle, which was a sketch show. And it's like, it's not even gaming. It's not even in that sphere. But it is comedy, which is something I love. Yep. It's being creative, which is something that I love. So I lo I'd love an opportunity to continue writing and directing. And then also uh, with... The day of the devs here as well. I I got to do some cool voiceover work. Oh, nice! Courtesy of my platform at Funhouse. Yep. Right. Uh, Psychonauts two and some other some other things as well. And so I'm totally down to explore that. I'm trying to explore it as well. So we'll see. I mean, it's not like this man isn't extremely talented. Make sure you're going to do some work with him because he's really freaking good. So yeah, we'll we'll, we'll figure out some stuff to to, to collaborate. Absolutely, I'm available. Let me know. Dope. We got more stuff coming from SGF. We'll very, very soon. Peace.